in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this nice and simple subscribe pop-up notification for YouTube channel inside of After Effects. So I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So just go to this composition and take a new composition. And this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main. And I'm going to set the size of this composition 1920 by 1080. And let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I am going with 30 frames per second. And I'm going to set the duration of this composition 6 seconds long and hit OK. And now let's create a rectangular shape. So select this rectangle tool and click on this field and set it to solid color. Click on this stroke and set it to none. And pick this pure white color, hit OK. And let's create a rectangular shape just like that. And open this rectangle one and open this rectangle path one and click on this button and unlink this width and height. And I'm gonna set this width value 1200 maybe and height value 250. And I'm going to set this roundness 35 and make it like this. And now I'm going to set this anchor point in the center of this rectangular shape. So select this pan behind tool and turn on this snapping and select this layer and set the anchor point in the center of this and close this shape layer. Right click on that, click on rename and I'm going to call it shape 01. And now select this layer and go to this align. If you can't see this align option, then go to window and check this option align. All right. And click on this align horizontally and click on this align vertically. Basically, we have to set this rectangular shape in the center of this frame. And now let's import some icons or logo. So just go to this project window, right click on that, click on import file. And in this case, I'm using this bell icons, hand cursor, YouTube logo and our channel logo and if you want to download these icons then go to the link in the description and download these icons and click on import and now I'm gonna use this YouTube logo first so just drag this YouTube logo into this main composition hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it down a bit and I'm gonna set this value 30% and hold control and scroll up to zoom in and select this move tool and turn off this uh, snapping for a moment and just drag this youtube logo right over here just like that and close this layer and after that let's import our channel logo so just select this channel logo and just drag this logo on this icon and create a composition and go to main composition and just drag this logo into this main composition all right and click on fit button and as you can see it is in a square form so i'm going to make it round so select this logo and select this ellipse tool hold control and double click on this ellipse tool and make it round just like that by using a mask and turn off this uh, outline by clicking on this button and select this logo hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it down a bit and i'm going to set this value 10 percent and set this logo right over here just like that and now i want to adjust the logo so just go to this logo comp and click on fit button hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property of this logo file and let's scale it up a bit and hold shift and drag it on right side just like that and go to your main composition and now it's looking much more better and now let's type your channel name and tagline so just select this text tool and just go to this character and in this case i'm using a font style century gothic and of course you can choose any font style that you want and set it to bold and i'm going to set the size of this font style 55 pixel maybe and click over here and type your channel name Hit Ctrl A to highlight all and uh, select this black color, hit OK and select this move tool and just set this channel name right over here just like that and then type your tagline. So just select this text tool again and click over here and type your tagline.
and hit control a to highlight all and uh, set it to regular and set the size of this font 35 pixel maybe hit enter and select this move tool and just set this tagline right over here just like that all right and after that let's create a subscribe button so let's minimize all this layer and uh, select this rectangle tool and let's create a shape just like that and for this one i'm gonna pick this youtube red color so pick this color picker and select this youtube red color hit ok and now open this rectangle one open this rectangle path one and click on this button and unlink this width and height so set this width value 300 and height value 70 all right and i'm gonna set this roundness value something around 10 and make it like this and after that right click on that click on rename and i'm gonna call it shape 02 all right and now select this move tool and just place it over here just like that and let's type subscribe so select this text tool and in this case i'm using Arial font style and set it to bold and set the size of this font 40 pixel maybe and uh, click over here and type subscribe hit ctrl a to highlight all and pick this white color and now select these both shape and subscribe layer and go to align and click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically to set this text in the center of this button and after that right click on that and click on pre-compose and make it a single layer so i'm going to call it button and check this option move all attributes hit ok all right and now let's import bell icon so just drag this png file on this icon and and make it a new composition with this bell icon and then go to your main composition and now select this bell composition right click on that click on rename and uh, let's call it bell and just drag this composition into this main composition just like that and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it down a bit and set this value something around eight percent and now select this move tool and just drag this bell icon right over here and set it like this and after that let's animate a mouse cursor so i'm going to use this hand cursor so just drag this hand cursor into this main composition right click on that click on rename and i'm going to call it hand and now hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it down a bit and set this value something around 25 percent and just drag this hand cursor right over here and select this layer hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and now let's animate the position of this hand cursor so just go to 2 second and 20 frame right over here and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go back to one second from here so it should be on one second and 20 frame over here and click on this button and add one more keyframe and lock this value and after that just drag this hand cursor outside of this frame over here just like that and as you can see we have an animation like this and just go to five frame forward in time over here add one more keyframe and now let's create a gap of 10 frame for click animation so just go to 10 frame forward in time over here and add one more keyframe and hold this position for five frame and then go to 10 frame forward in time and now just drag this hand cursor over here for this bell icon and hold it for five frame all right and now let's create a gap of 10 frame for click animation and add one more keyframe over here hold it for five frame and then just go to one second forward in time so it should be on five second and ten frame over here and again drag this hand outside of this frame all right and now select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and now let's create a click animation so 
go over here to second and 25 frame and select this layer hold shift and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property also and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to 10 frame forward in time and lock this value as it is and go to the center of this keyframe over here and let's down the size a bit so i'm going to set this value 20 percent and now do the same thing for this bell icon so go over here and add one more keyframe and lock this value as it is and go to 10 frame forward in time over here and add one more keyframe and go to the center of these two keyframe over here and set this value 20 percent hit enter all right and now select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and let's play this and now we have an animation just like that and now let's create a click animation for this subscribe button and this bell icon so select this button composition and uh, go over here and hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and select this pan behind tool and i'm going to set this anchor point in the center of this button just like that and lock this value as it is by creating a keyframe and go to 10 frame forward in time over here and add one more keyframe and go to the center of these two keyframe over here and set this value something around 90 percent all right and let's play this and now we have something like this all right and now select this keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and do the same thing for this bell icon so let's go over here on this position and select this bell hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and go to 10 frame forward in time over here and add one more keyframe and go to the center of these two keyframe over here and set this value something around seven hit enter all right and now select these three keyframe and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and now let's minimize all these layer just like that and then go to very beginning of this animation and let's play this and as you can see we have an animation just like that and now select this button hit u on the keyboard to open this scale property and if you go over here in the center of this click animation we have to change this button subscribe to subscribed so just go over here in the center of these two keyframe and double click on this button composition and open it up and select these two layers and hit control shift d to split this layer and select this shape 03 and uh, select this rectangle tool and now let's change the color of this so i'm going to set this this type of brown color hit ok and now let's change the text subscribe to subscribed so select this layer and select this text tool click over here and type subscribed all right and then go to your main composition and now we have something like this and do the same thing for this bell icon so select this bell hit u on the keyboard to open this active keyframe and go to the center of these two keyframes and open this bell icon and hit ctrl shift d to split this layer and just delete it and let's import this second bell png file into this bell composition and just drag this over here and now we have an animation just like that so just go to main composition and let's minimize all the layers and go to very beginning of this animation and let's play this all right and now click on this fit button and now let's create a final animation so select this move tool and we have to take a new null object so just go to layer new and take a new null object and this is going to be our animation layer so right click on that click on rename and let's call it animation 01 and now select this shape and youtube layer and pick this pick whip and attach this with animation 1 and now select this animation 1 layer and go to on 2 second hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position and go to very beginning of this animation and let's drag it down 
maybe outside of this frame just like that and go to on for second and add one more keyframe and lock this value as it is and go to the end of this animation and just drag this outside of this frame just like that and then hold shift and select all these keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on that and click on this edit a speed graph and select this point and hold this handle and just drag it like this and create a nice and smooth curve and select this point and hold this handle and just drag it like this all right and now close this graph editor and go to the very beginning of this animation and let's play this all right so it's looking nice and now just select this animation 01 hit ctrl d to duplicate hit u on the keyboard to open this keyframe and now select this logo select this button and select this bell and go to the center of this animation over here and pick this pick whip and attach this with animation 02 all right and now let's create a time gap between these animation so for that select these animation to layer right click on that and go to time and go to time a stretch and for this one i'm going to set this value five second and uh, 26 frame and hit ok and now just drag this layer two frame forward in time and we get this time variation between animation one and animation two as you can see and now let's play this and now it's looking much more better and let's create one more copy of this animation so hit ctrl d hit u on the keyboard to open this active keyframe and do the same thing for this animation three so right click on this layer go to time and go to time a stretch and for this one i'm going to set this value five second and 24 frame maybe hit ok and let's move this layer one frame forward in time just like that and now we have a time variation between animation one two and three and now let's parent it so just go to the center of this animation over here and select these text layer and pick this pick whip and attach this with animation three just like that and now it's looking much more organic as you can see and now let's minimize all this layer and now let's import a background and let's check this so right click on that click on import file and select an image import it and just drag this like this and now it's almost done so let's have a look Alright, so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when I will upload my new video. And I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.